good evening to one of all present here hello is this am audible to all of you yes 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 it is audible okay good evening to one and all present here i welcome you all for today's webinar on the topic lockdown and mental health challenges on behalf of dg vaishnav college which is conducted in collaboration with yuva active advocacy forum here i am glad to welcome mr ck danapandian who is currently assistant professor in department of clinical psychology at nipnet okay before entering into the session I would request all the participants to mute your audio and video settings participants can pose their questions during the end of the session where we have a separate time allotted for q and a now i will i would like to deliver a short introduction on two collaborated inst institutions for the day davarkadas govindan das vaishnav college is formerly known as dg vaishnav college with the sole purpose of imparting knowledge and value based education saw its grand day on 30th june 1964 the college aimed at imparting value based quality education and empowering the youth outstanding performance of the students in academics and extension activities has enabled the college to emerge as one of the premier institution of higher learning the curriculum is the curriculum is revived and updated periodically in keeping with the changes in the diverse discipline of arts commerce science and technology the college has entered into collaboration with many reputed institution and organizations the department of social work the post graduate department of social work from the very day of its inception in the year 1989 has been striving to achieve excellence in the field of social work and human resource management the department is geared towards providing a value added market driven course in social work education with human resource management as specialization the department aims at bridging bridging the gap between the theory and practice by equipping the students to meet the future demands special emphasis is paid to developing the right attitude skill and knowledge in the students which has made the department a much sought after destination for recruiters yuva active advocacy forum yuva active advocacy forum is a not for profit enterprise which aims to streamline the interaction between the government and the governed that fosters transparency and accountability its vision is to promote political advocacy through constructive dialogue between the government and the government it aims to establish these awareness and activity centers across all colleges and institutions to reach all the participants in the democratic process in the country the center stage of the implementation of the vision will be an online platform by a comprehensive database of past and present elected representatives and candidates belonging to all three wings of government that is the legislature executive and the judiciary it features to provide a safe space of users to express their views tools to manage such as interaction and a comprehensive analytical engine this is expected to impact voter behavior help representative understand the needs of their consistency better and bring the openness in the conduct of governance you are as a flagship effort of kalpati ags group to support endoviers that enhance the quality of discussion dialogue and discourse in public life okay now i would request mr s navin kumar the student coordinator to deliver a small introduction about our head of the department dr sulupriya good evening to one and all present here i like to introduce dr b sulupriya head of department of social work she holds phd in social work 
She has been a welfare officer of Voluntary Coordinating Agency for Adoption in Tamil Nadu for four years. She holds membership in NHRD, MME and other professional organizations. She also presented papers on topics such as challenges of work, the burnout syndrome in the banking sector, women executive and workplace stress, a study on stress management among women executive across the sectors in Chennai, motherhood and quality of work life of women in industry, awareness and educational combat violence on women. She is Assistant Coordinator for Indira Gandhi National Open University Study Center at DG Vaishnav College. Happy to have you for today's session, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Namin Kumar. Now I request Dr. Sulu Priya, Head of the Department, to render the welcome address. Good evening to one and all present here. Thank you, Naveen. Uh, thank you, Abdullah, for hosting the session. Uh, very warm greetings to each and every one of you present here. On behalf of the management, principal, secretary, the staff and students from the Department of Social Work, as well as all the departments from DG Vaishnava family, I deem it as a privilege and pleasure to welcome each one of you who have decided to be with us today in this virtual platform. Dear participants, join me in welcoming the resource person of the day, Mr. C.K. Dhanapandian, who is the assistant professor in the Department of Clinical Psychology. He is an expert in rehabilitation psychology at NIPMED, the National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Multiple Disabilities, which is located in Chennai. I'm sure with his expertise in uh, psychological and psychosocial management, psychosocial interventions, he will be able to guide us on how we have to be mentally active and healthy during this lockdown time. I also wish to extend a bouquet of appreciation and warmth to Ms. Aishwarya, the CEO and founder of UA Active Advocacy Forum, which is a not-for-profit enterprise committed towards public participation, civic edu education, and involving the public in knowing about their rights and duties. The vibrant team of UA consisting of Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Robert, Ms. Miriam, and many more have been instrumental in making the up today. Thank you, team, for doing this. Dear participants, we know that all of us are going through this lockdown period, and lockdown has impacted us in many ways. Not every day is the same. We are facing a lot of challenges. Some days are very good, some days are not so good. So this is a situation wherein a study by the Indian Psychiatric Society has uh, actually mentioned that there is an increase, a 20 percentage increase in the cases of mental illness reported after the lockdown has started, which means one in every fifth Indian is getting affected. So this information, this piece of information actually calls the need for urgent attention. And that is the reason that prompted us to take up this topic. We know that all of us are uh, operating in limited uh, spaces, restricted movements, restricted resources, the fear of getting infected, the fear of losing loved ones, and the financial difficulties. So all of these actually uh, put us in a kind of state wherein we need to think about consciously, not only to enhance our physical health, but also to remain mentally active. As visualized by a witty meme creator, that the only opportunity to save the world during this lockdown period is to shut yourself inside home. So let us do it, but with a mentally active and physically active mindset. The only, uh, the only tool which can help us to sail through this pandemic situation is to stay safe, stay calm, follow self-isolation, uh, self-discipline, and ensure that we ensure with an optimistic mind that we will sail through the situation very soon. A delightful evening with an insightful session. Wishes to you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would request Ms. Aishwarya VSR from 2nd MSW to deliver a small introduction about Ms. Aishwarya Kalpati, Founder and Chief Executive Officer of UA. Hailing from a small family of a successful first-generation entrepreneur, Ms. Aishwarya Kalpati never had to look elsewhere for inspiration. A political science degree from St. Xavier's College in Mumbai, 
and a master degree in management from Warwick Business School in United Kingdom has enabled Ms. Aishwarya to synthesize her interest in political advocacy and entrepreneurship. Yuva, Active Advocacy Forum, a not-for-profit association enterprise is a brainchild for Ms. Aishwarya in her endeavors to enhance political participation, political awareness, and civil education. Ms. Aishwarya has ably treated her organization to significant heights in a short span. She has also successfully conceptualized and created one of its kind web platform where citizens are connected to their local representatives and can voice their options fearlessly. To infuse politics with a much needed academic rigor, Ms. Aishwarya is working towards building leadership institutions where aspiring young politicians will be trained by the best minds of the country for the career in politics. So, this academics, empowerment and leadership initiatives at UWA, Ms. Aishwarya has only begun to work towards her vision for being political advocacy back to her vigor. Ms. Aishwarya stands as a clear example for the fact that business, business interests need not be divorced from social responsibilities. I'm glad to welcome Ms. Aishwarya Kalpati for today's session. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Aishwarya Vyasa. Now I request Ms. Aishwarya Kalpati, founder of UA, to render the special address. Uh, hi, good evening to everyone. First of all, I would like to start by extending a huge uh, uh, thank you to the Institute because I know like during times like this uh, it's very difficult to organize events and actually keep students engaged continually so I'm very grateful uh, for cons consistently collaborating with us for more than a year now and helping us do events like this. Uh, I also want to thank our resource person for taking time to uh, come and speak to young people and talk about the importance of mental health, uh, especially during these times. So, um, like they said in our introduction, my organization does work with politics uh, a lot and political education and civic education. So, um, the reason that we did the mental health seminar as such is to give you an insight that politics truly does pervade uh, every sphere of our lives, including mental health. If you look at uh, the situation just in the last one year itself, right from the CAA acts uh, up until the lockdown, every time there is a political decision that is taken, it affects the stakeholders in a lot of ways, especially because you feel very helpless in situations like that. You don't really know what to do. And one of the biggest reasons for your mental health issues is the fear of uncertainty and the fear of your future. So we felt like um, talking about mental health is imperative, uh, especially to young students. Um, I read a report recently which said that from 2011 to 17, one out of seven Indians are affected by either anxiety or depression or, you know, more serious illnesses like schizophrenia. And there has been a report that, like Ma'am said, since the lockdown, there has been a spike in the number of mental health cases. Uh, and I'm sure all of you know that in our country, it still is taboo to talk about mental health. It still is uh, something that people consider embarrassing or they don't want to acknowledge it because, you know, um, that's just how that generation has been brought Hello, ma'am. Hello. Thank 
question. Hi, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I think uh, there wasn't there was a problem with the connectivity in my side. Uh, but like I was saying, I think it's about time. I'm not sure where I left off, and I sort of I'm just going to end with saying that we do need uh, to normalize talking about mental health, so you you're able to identify your issues and find tools that will help you deal with it better. With that, I'm going to hand over the session to the resource person and uh, we can take it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Aishwarya, ma'am. Now I would request Ms. S. Namin Kumar, student coordinator, to deliver the guest profile. Thank you, Abdullah. It gives me an immense pleasure to introduce our speaker for the day, Mr. C. K. Dhanapandian. Assistant Professor at the Department of Clinical Psychology in National Institute for Empowerment of Persons with Multiple Disabilities. He has around 10 years of experience as a rehabilitation psychologist. He also been a guest faculty in the Department of Psychology, Manormanim Sundrana University. He holds PhD in psychology. He also presented various papers on topics such as domestic violence, psychological profile of abusers, participation in community-based rehabilitation planning, role of rural appraisal methods, the problem of tobacco users and non-user among undergraduate male students. We are delighted to have you for today's session, sir. Thank you, Mr. Navin Kumar. Here we have Mr. C.K. Dhanapandian, who will be sharing his insight on today's topic, lockdown and mental health challenges. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here with a wonderful forum and talking about uh, lockdown and mental health challenges. So can you share the... Uh, like, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Richard. So I think um, so I can go with uh, both uh, bilingual uh, so that everyone can follow me. And uh, there are a number of questions in ourselves. studies uh, in uh, career for third year. So so is it okay now? So am I audible? Yeah, 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 sir. You're audible. Yeah. Yes. So for lockdown, I think we modify it. So there are a number of questions in our mind, especially uh, when it will uh, take to settle. This is the first time we have been able to study in the first year, second year. Circulum. Even master's degree, so I'm going to studies. Whether I'm going to continue with the online online classes or I need to go back to the college and attend the classes. Um, in third year, second year, master's career, 
ஆஹ் ஏன் எனக்கு மட்டும் இப்படி நடக்குது ஸோ இப்ப ஒருவேளை வந்து எனக்கோ அல்லது வந்து எனக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிச்சவங்களுக்கோ கோவிட் நைன்டீன்னால அஃபெக்ட் ஆனாங்கன்னா என்ன பண்றது ஆஹ் ஒருவேளை பக்கத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய நபருக்கு வந்து கோவிட் நைன்டீன் இருக்குன்னா ஹவு ஹவ் இல் ஐ நோ அண்ட் என்ன பண்ணணும் அப்படிங்கிறது கூட எனக்கு தெரியல அந்த மாதிரியான கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இருக்கலாம் அல்லது ஒருவேளை இந்த லாக்டவுன்னால நான் ஏதோ எனக்குள்ள ஒரு பெரிய மாற்றம் நடந்திருக்கு நான் கொஞ்சம் வித்தியாசமா திங்க் பண்றேனா அப்படின்ற மாதிரியான எண்ணங்கள் உங்களுக்குள்ள வரலாம் ஸோ இந்த எல்லாம் வந்து ரொம்ப காமனா நாங்க பார்க்கக்கூடிய கிளைண்ட்ஸ்ல இருந்து நான் எடுத்திருக்கேன் அண்ட் மொர் ஓவர் நிறைய ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கால் பண்றாங்க தே ஆர் தே ஆர் ஆஸ்கிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அபவுட் எப்படிதான் நாங்க இதை வந்து கோப்ப பண்றது அப்படின்னு நிறைய கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இந்த சூழ்நிலையில தான் வந்து யுவா இன்ட்ரெஸ்டும் ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் டிஜி வைஷ்ணவும் சேர்ந்து இந்த ஒரு ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆர்கனைஸ் பண்ணிருக்கேன் ஐ ஆம் வெரி ஹாப்பி அண்ட் மொர் ஓவர் நிறைய யங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் இந்த ஃபோரம் அண்ட் இந்த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் எல்லாம் உங்களுக்குள்ள இருக்கு அப்படின்னா என்ன வெதர் வி ஆர் நார்மல் ஆர் அப் நார்மல் அப்படின்ற ஒரு கொஸ்டின் வரும் ஸோ இப்ப நம்ம அந்த கொஸ்டின் போறதுக்கு முன்னாடி இந்த கொஸ்டின் நமக்கு வந்து செக் பண்ணிக்கலாம் வெதர் வி ஆர் நார்மல் ஆர் அப் நார்மல் நம்ம செக் பண்ணிக்கலாம் அப்படின்னா ஒரு சின்ன ஒரு ஆக்டிவிட்டி கொடுக்கலாம்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ இதை நீங்க எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் பண்ணணும்னு அவசியமே கிடையாது ஜஸ்ட் ஐம் கோயிங் டு டெல் டூ திங்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் அபவுட் என்விரான்மெண்ட் அனதர் அபவுட் ஹவ் யூ ஆர் ரியாக்டிங் ஸோ ஒன் இஸ் என்விரான்மெண்ட் எப்படி இருக்கு நீங்க அதுக்கு எப்படி ரியாக்ட் பண்ண போறீங்க ஸோ நாலு ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் கொடுப்பேன் நீங்க உங்களுக்குள்ளே நீங்க வந்து யோசிக்கலாம் நீங்க என்னவா இருக்கிறீங்கன்னு யோசிக்கலாம் அல்லது மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த டைம் நீங்க எப்படி ரியாக்ட் பண்றீங்கன்றத நீங்க யோசிக்கலாம் ஸோ ஸோ தட் வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வேர் வி ஆர் அப்படிங்கிறது நம்ம கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியும் சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் நார்மலா இருக்கு உங்களோட ரியாக்ஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆப்ஷன் சுச்சுவேஷன் நார்மலா இருக்கு உங்களுடைய ரியாக்ஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு செகண்ட் ஆப்ஷன் சுச்சுவேஷன் நார்மலா இருக்கு உங்களோட உங்களோட ஆக்டிவிட்டியும் நார்மலா இருக்கு தேர்ட் ஆப்ஷன் சுச்சுவேஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு உங்களுடைய ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் எல்லாமே நார்மலா இருக்கு அண்ட் ஃபோர்த் ஒன்னு சுச்சுவேஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு அந்த உங்களுடைய ரியாக்ஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு ஸோ ஃபோர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் லைக் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் டூ வி ஹாவ் ஓகே ஸோ இந்த நாளில் ஏதோ ஒரு விஷயத்தை தான் நம்ம திரும்ப திரும்ப நம்ம வந்து பண்ணிகிட்டே இருப்போம் அண்ட் குறிப்பாக வந்து ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஃபுல் சுச்சுவேஷனில் நம்ம எப்படி ரியாக்ட் பண்ணுறோம் தான் பார்க்கணும் இந்த ஃபஸ்ட்டு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சுச்சுவேஷன் நார்மலாக இருக்கு நான் வந்து அப் நார்மலாக பிஹேவ் பண்ணுறேன் அப்படின்னா ஸோ ஏதோ ஒரு மென்டல் ஹெல்த் சேலஞ்சஸ்க்குள்ளே நீங்கள் வந்து ட்ராவல் ஆகுறீங்களோன்ற ஒரு கொஸ்டின் வந்து ஏன்னா சுச்சுவேஷன் நார்மலாக தான் இருக்கு பட் வேரஸ் யூஆர் யூ ஆர் ரியாக்டிங் இன் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வே ஸோ அப்போது அது அது வந்து முதல் ஓகே முதல் விஷயம் வந்து சுச்சுவேஷன் நார்மலாக இருந்து உங்களோட ரியாக்ஷன் வித்தியாசமாக இருந்தது அப்படின்னா மென்டல் ஹெல்த் சேலஞ்சஸ்க்குள்ள அல்லது வந்து ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஃபுல் சுச்சுவேஷனுக்கு நீங்க உங்களால கோப்ப பண்ண முடியல அப்படின்றது அர்த்தம் வேற செகண்ட் சுச்சுவேஷன் நார்மலா இருக்கு நீங்களும் நார்மலா தான் ரியாக்ட் பண்றீங்க அப்படின்னா ஒரு பெரிய பிரச்சனை இல்லை நீங்க வந்து ஒவ்வொரு சுச்சுவேஷனையும் நீங்க வந்து பாசிட்டிவா இருந்தா பாசிட்டிவா ரியாக்ட் பண்ண தான் ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க ஸோ ஓகே ஃபைன் இதுல வந்து பெரிய மாற்றல் இல்லை வேற தேர்ட் சுச்சுவேஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு உங்களோட ரியாக்ஷன் நார்மலா இருக்கு அப்படிங்கிற பட்சத்துல யாரெல்லாம் கோப்ப பண்ண முடியுதோ ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஃபுல்லான சுச்சுவேஷனை யாரெல்லாம் கோப்ப பண்ண முடியுதோ அல்ல யாரெல்லாம் வந்து எந்த சூழ்நிலை வந்தாலும் சமாளிக்க முடியுதோ அடாப்டேஷனுக்குள்ள தன்னை வந்து ஈடுபடுத்திக்க முடியுதோ ஸோ அவர்கள்லாம் இந்த மூணாவது கேட்டகரியில் வருவாங்க ரொம்ப ஆரோக்கியமான மென்டல் ஹெல்த்துக்குள்ள வரக்கூடிய நபர்கள் சுச்சுவேஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருந்தாலும் நார்மலா ரியாக்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க வேற சுச்சுவேஷன் இந்த ஃபோர்த் ஒன் சுச்சுவேஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு என்னோட ரியாக்ஷன் அப் நார்மலா இருக்கு அப்படின்ற பட்சத்துல இந்த நபர்கள் எப்படி இருப்பாங்க அப்படின்னா இவங்களுக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப ஒரு வல்னரபிலிட்டி ஜாஸ்தி இப்போ அவங்களுக்கு வந்து சுச்சுவேஷன் கொஞ்சம் அப் நார்மல் ஆனாலுமே அவங்களுடைய செயல்பாடுகள் எல்லாமே மாறிடும் ஸோ அந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கேட்டகரி அண்ட் த லாஸ்ட் கேட்டகரி தெர் ஆஸ் அ ஹை சான்சஸ் எண்ட் அப் இந்த மென்டல் ஹெல்த் இஷ்யூஸ் ஸோ இப்போ நம்ம இங்கே கா இங்கே லாக்டவுன் பீரியடில் நம்ம அந்த கோவிட்டை பற்றி நிறைய இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் வந்துகிட்டே இருக்கு இல்லைங்களா ஸோ அதனால் நமக்குள்ளே ஏற்படக்கூடிய இந்த கொஸ்டின்ஸ்க்கு எல்லாமே நீங்கள் உங்களுக்குள்ள நீங்கள் எப்படி ரியாக்ட் பண்ணுறீங்க அப்படிங்கிற பொறுத்து தான்
so first one uh, the first category would be a person who is having some mental health challenges and they are not able to cope with the abnormal situation so normal situation but they are reacting in the abnormal way so that is a, there is a um, abnormality in them whereas the second one there is a normal situation they are reacting normally it's very normal there is no no harm in that whereas the third one situation is abnormal they are reacting very normal they they have a very good mental health they don't have any issues since they can able to cope up with any kind of situation the fourth one is situation is abnormal and they are reacting abnormal again there is a vulnerability they they can uh, they can go to the mental health challenges and they may get some mental health issues so these all the four criteria when we talk about mental health so if you are mental mentally healthy you have to see whether your reaction is normal during the abnormal situation that is very very important we are into the abnormal situation during the lockdown due to the covid 19 so here are we reacting abnormally or not that that max you to feel whether you are mentally healthy or unhealthy so these all the common questions in our mind but let's see how why this these all the questions arise to us next slide so one is a uh, very important reason is there are number of changes almost over the dear nu solranga lockdown ஒரு நாள் லாக்டவுன் சொன்னாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து ஒன் வீக் லாக்டவுன் சொன்னாங்க ஸோ வென் தேர் அனவுன்ஸ் இட் ஒன் டே ஓகே வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு வென் தே அனவுன்ஸ் இட் ஒன் வீக் வி வேர் ஃபைண்டிங் ஓகே ரிலாக்ஸிங் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் த காலேஜ் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்கூல் ஃப்ரம் தி ஒர்க் அண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் வி ஆர் கெட்டிங் அ டைம் ஃபார் தட் அண்ட் வி வி கேன் ஸ்டே அட் ஹோம் வி கேன் ஸ்பெண்ட் த டைம் வித் த ஃபேமிலி மெம்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் வி கேன் வி கேன் ட்ரை டு அடாப்ட் ஃபார் அ வீக் when it's extend to the 21 days again it's pressurizing us so these all the changes happening within a within a night actually within 24 hours they they just announced and they extended and they extended it keeps extending the reason is yes uh, it's a pandemic it's very difficult to uh, manage or very very difficult to understand first and very uh, difficult to adjust first so yes this all the lockdown which which would help us to safeguard but at the same time whether we are prepared for this kind of uh, pandemic situation but when we ask this whether we are prepared no so this makes us to uh, like um, uh, more stressful and we are towards the mental health challenges so that is a reason w- why these many questions are rising within us so and excessive feed about pandemic related information that's another very important when we talk about the news breaking news previously like uh, if you would take up uh, 10 years back or 15 years back there would be one or two channels for breaking news but if you would see now there are number of channels with a background music and with a um, different different methodology to reach us they are keeps giving the data about pandemic issues as well as death and as well as how it's affecting the personal life as well as the society as a whole so which makes us to be more stressful where we are getting more number of questions within us whether we can able to survive whether we can able to be okay or whether we can able to uh, like cope with this situation whether it's affecting our family members whether it is uh, going to Uh, reflect my personal life as well as the career life so in the in the kelvi gal ellame ungalukku la varumbodu being as a student it's very uh, new to you as well as uh, it's new to everyone actually speaking so whenever you are getting stress you can have some person to discuss and uh, rectify the problem but this situation you may not have get the right person to discuss since everyone finding it's very difficult to understand this pandemic situation so adha da vandu nammala stress ku la yen avlo deep ah nammal kondu porudhu yen ivlo questions la namakku varudha na yaar ta poi pesradhu endha channel la therndhalum ethana per irukku paadhi kittirukke ethana per erandittirukanga so eppadi poiterukke enna nadiyana economical changes kondu varudhu what are the 
லைக் எஜுகேஷன் சிஸ்டத்துல என்ன சேஞ்சஸ் கொண்டு வருது ஸோ சோ மெனி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ரிலேட்டட் டு த நெகட்டிவ் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் தென் த பாசிட்டிவ் ஈவன் வென் யூ லுக் இன் டு த நியூஸ் சம் ஆஃப் ஐ ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு நேம் இட் த சேனல் பட் தேர் இஸ் அ சேனல் விச் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் ஓன்லி அபவுட் டெத் ரேட் அண்ட் த எஃபெக்டட் பாசிட்டிவ் கேசஸ் பட் தே நெவர் டாக் அபவுட் the uh, uh, how many people they are um after treatment when they are getting okay so research aramungla pathiyana numbers vandu even they are not reduced from the overall uh, positive cases so if you would see like for example 1000 cases are uh, positive cases if it is a 400 uh, after the treatments okay they are not detect from the 1000 so you always thinks that the 1000 is a case that is a problem which which makes us to feel whether are we staying in a secure place so that is a very important thing which makes us to feel uh, inferior and other vida romba mukkiyamana new reality actually so now the government announced vaala palaikenga so vaala palaikenga solittaanga so you have to accept you have to adapt you have to try to understand this and you have to prevent yourself so this is a new reality so whenever it's a new reality comes in even if you would see the history when a new reality comes in almost everyone get panic everyone get stressed everyone can take time to adapt so even if you have this kind of uh, stressful um, like uh, feel or you feel something abnormal within you you have to accept yes there is some change i have to accept the new reality so even when when we uh, when the schools they started online classes we find very difficult the students are sitting on one place even the teachers finding it very difficult it's so the same way in the college as well as in the all other uh, profession area so as well as ipo idellam taandi inga enna prachana appdin pathina namakku epovume vand negative thoughts are automatic when we when we uh, talk about uh, any anything about positive aspect we may forget easily but when we talk about negative yarachu or negative konju based thana por adu vandu nammoda life la nariye nerangalla odite irukum even negative ah pesa kuda thevilla even nobody uh, comment on you but even though you will get generated the negative thoughts the negative thoughts are automatic so idellam irukumbodhu indha questions ivlo questions indha mariyan situation lockdown situation la ungalukulla varudhu irukku appadina i would say you are try to coping up with the current situation you are towards the adjustment so adanal neenga oru vela vandu idellam abnormal ah irukku enak edho prachana irukku appdi neenga nenachina adha thavaru neenga vandu towards new reality ku nokki neenga poi irukkinga now you are trying to understand the situation you are trying to adapt yourself to uh, towards the new reality so adanal neenga vandu நீங்களே நினைச்சுக்கலாம் இதெல்லாம் வந்து நம்மளுக்கு ஒரு லைஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் நம்ம நம்ம ஏதோ ஒரு விஷயத்த நம்ம வந்து மீட் பண்ண போறோம் என்ன பண்ணலான்றது பார்க்கலாம் அப்படிங்கிறத நம்ம யோசிக்கலாம் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் ஸோ இதெல்லாம் இந்த லாக்டவுன்ல இருக்கக்கூடிய கான்சிக்வன்சஸ் என்ன அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஏன் இவ்வளவு ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ஆனது இவ்வளவு கொஸ்டின்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்தாலுமே கூட ஏன் இதெல்லாம் உருவாகுது அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வந்து ஃபெயிலியர் டு மெயின்டைன் ரொட்டீன் யூஸ்வலா என்ன பண்ணுவோம் காலையில இருந்துட்டு எல்லாம் கிளம்பி காலேஜ் போவோம் அல்லது வந்து ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸை பார்ப்போம் அல்லது ஒரு வாக்கிங் போவோம் ஏதோ ஒன்று நம்ம வந்து ரொட்டீன் ஒன்று இருந்துகிட்டே இருந்தது இப்போ அந்த ரொட்டீன்லாம் பிரேக் பண்ணிட்டு நீங்கள் வீட்டுக்குள்ளே இருக்கணும் ஈவன் உங்களோட வீட்டு கதவு கைப்பிடியை தொட்டாலும் நீங்கள் சானிடைசர் யூஸ் பண்ணணும் சொன்னால் இது எப்படி இருக்கும் ஸோ கம்ப்ளீட்லி அப்நார்மல் ஸோ அப்போ அப்நார்மலாக இருக்குது உங்களோட ரொட்டீனில் இருந்து கம்ப்ளீட்டாக அதை வந்து பிரேக் ஆகும்போது என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னா உங்களுக்குள்ள ஒரு கேள்வி இருக்கும் நான் வந்து சேஃபாக தான் இருக்கணும் ஏன் நான் வீட்டுக்குள்ளே இருக்கணும் so in the when, when you are get, arising the, so many question within you so you are trying to maintain your routine within home but it's not possible no so when you are not able to do it at home you are get stressed so for failure to maintain routine it's a major reason why you are feeling stressed second uh, feeling stuck ore edathila ore say the panite evlo nerna na irukka mudiyum so idu varaikum enak illa so even if you would ask your parents or or anyone they may say idu mari na paathade illa we never experienced this kind of situation nearly 2 3 months we are staying at home without uh, doing anything or we cannot go anywhere indha mari or soolnal na paathade illa abdra mariyana 
அப்படி தான் நிறைய பேரண்ட்ஸ் நிறைய எல்டர்லி பீப்புள் தே ஆர் ரெஸ்பாண்ட் அண்ட் புவர் ஸ்லீப் ஹைஜீன் ஸோ புவர் So, that's another uh, very important thing, poor uh, sleep hygiene. So, what is sleep hygiene? We used to have our own routine time and we used to sleep on time and we used to wake up. But when it comes to the, uh, this, this situation, we used to sleep more or very less. So, when you are mismatching your sleep pattern, which also leads to stress. So, which also makes you to... feel like there is a one um, technical term hippocompic so if you are not sleep properly you will get some, some kind of uh, uh, like uh, psychological issue you can see or you can see someone or, or there will be a some kind of um, uh, mismatching so you, you feel that you are sleeping but you uh, like you you know that consciously you know that you are sleeping but you can see someone walking or around so these all the things will happen when the sleep patterns get altered and excessive usage of gadgets so kitatata or 7000 i think um, if i'm not wrong 7500 crores they are getting profit during this lockdown yeah, facebook and uh, youtube pubg all the ga- all kind of uh, gadgets we are excessively using during this time and domestic violence the who reported that there are lot of uh, domestic violence happening and even uh, we used to see uh, like namo uh, samibathla satan glom issues and uh, even um, uh, one girl who is 7 uh, years old raped by uh, someone the adult these all the things happening but we cannot connect with this uh, lockdown அதனால தான் இந்த டொமஸ்டிக் வயலன்ஸ் அதிகரிச்சுன்னு நம்ம சொல்லிட முடியாது பட் வி ஹாவ் டு சி டு தட் ஒய் த டொமஸ்டிக் வயலன்ஸ் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஸோ தேர் இஸ் நோ எக்கனாமிக்கல் லைக் சேஞ்சஸ் அண்ட் தேர் இஸ் நோ வே டு வெண்டிலேட் தேர் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஃபுல் திங்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் இஸ் நோ சப்போர்ட் ஃப்ரம் அவுட் சைட் ஸோ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி இட்ஸ் ஆக்சலரேட்டிங் டொமஸ்டிக் வயலன்ஸ் அண்ட் அண்ட் எஸ்டிமேட் அவர் எபிலிட்டி டு கோப் வித் திஸ் சுச்சுவேஷன் தட்ஸ் அனதர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் திங் வி ஹாவ் டு டிஸ்கஸ் we have our own coping strategies when you feel or when you meet a stressful uh, uh, situation or the triggers we used to respond in a different way one person may fight one person may flight run away from the situation one person may fright so just threaten to the situation and one person may collapse so this all the uh, different way of uh, expressing their stressful or, or we can say they are addressing to the stressful even so idu ellam irundalme kuda idu ellam idu ellam taandi so even we can able to cope up with any stress but actually speaking we are underestimate our own ability during this situation so when we don't know our uh, ability to cope then automatically we fall into uh, stress we may develop our own mental health issues so these are all the very important consequences of uh, lockdown situation next slide and negative emotions so we used to like many number of calls from uh, different people and they are uh, saying talk, talking about anxiety they are worried much and panic panic uh, when they lost uh, themselves they feel that they are going to die suddenly they get a uh, high palpitation and they are uh, getting uh, sweating and they are not able to even stand for a minute they feel like dying this kind of experience they are giving since they are getting all information so all negative information even they they are getting worried about their future all these things happening during this uh, lockdown and may develop depressive features what is depressive feature especially uh, uh, during the adolescent this kind of uh, depressive features very common and uh, even who warned that in future the depressive uh, due to the depression there will be a lot of uh, death would happen so what are the uh, 
uh, stress or uh, depressive features we have to understand how to identify my own uh, depressive feature one is helplessness so i cannot do anything because lock lockdown worthlessness even uh, i'm not worthy to do anything this kind of feel if you have or hopeless i don't ha- i don't see my future would be uh, better or best since uh, this lockdown is uh, raising all these things in my life and uh, covid 19 this pandemic during this pandemic there are more than 70 days i was uh, stuck at home so which uh, completely washed out my life these kind of uh, thought uh, frequently if you if you are uh, face it or if you are having it then you you need to get the professional support the, this is all the depressive features and many people they used to feel anxiety uh, the reason is they are not into the probable or uh, the right information they used to get all the information and they used to worry towards future or the how it is going and they they don't have any uh, holding they used to get tense due to uh, they are not getting any prob- probable uh, positive outcomes so it's a probability there is no reality it's a probability they used to think about the negative and difficulty to concentrate even they are not able to concentrate think clearly the rational would go away the reason is when a person is emotional they cannot expect they used to think rationally they we cannot expect they used to think uh, they have to ask themselves but they they cannot since they the emotional clouding would are there function and poor in uh, prioritizing and decision making there are number of uh, suicide attempts we are seeing all over india it's uh, due to uh, they are not able to think clearly and uh, poor decision making so these all the things uh, the major constraints during lockdown next slide okay so how we can uh, prevent or how we can strengthen our mental health first you have to uh, restructure your routine so now almost altered or almost there is no shape for your routine so now you have to construct a new routine during this long term whether you are going to the college or whether you are going to um, the market or anything even that even if you are not going anywhere you have to wake up on time and you can uh, be ready or you have to test up well and you have to prepare yourself like usual even when you are going to the college you are preparing yourself from morning right so same way you have to uh, make yourself and you have to test up well and you have to start uh, try to explore and make a routine in yourself that is very important which will reduce your feel of uh, unproductive so you can feel productive when you are uh, having a routine and second rely on reliable resources like government websites so if you would see how many of you not having or not getting the information from whatsapp none so we are getting a lot of information even the same information there are number of rumors about uh, covid 19 it's a uh, more uh, number of information misleading informations we are getting through whatsapp uh, through facebook all social medias it keeps bombarding with the um, information which allow allow us not thinking towards the rational way so here what we have to do we have to select some websites especially government websites or who world health organization they used to uh, give a periodical information and they are updating the covid uh, how the lockdown would go and how what are the rules and regulation all these things would the government is uh, government website or who website you can get the uh, proper authenticated information when you are sharing unauthenticated information you are the part of uh, creating a rumor so we have to try to understand that and we have to understand and we have to uh, rely on the proper government or wso websites so which would uh, really help you to uh, 
feel comfortable so they won't make you to be panic and third schedule your time for watching news or across uh, or access the social media that's another very important thing is what you have to do you have to schedule yourself so now we are getting uh, 24 into 7 we are free almost free being a student we used to be free um, throughout the day due to that we used to keep watching news or social we are entering into the social media means at least um, three four hours at a stretch so what happened you are keeps yourself more stressful through your watching social media what you can do you can set the time even for a, a half an hour in a day even if you don't like to into the social media you can try to explore or you can try to read books or anything else. so schedule your time for watching news or access social media that that would um reduce your stress and use some form of relaxation technique or breathing exercise here i given some simple um uh, relaxing exercise done by someone uh, so just i taken from uh, youtube just watch it even you can uh, try to practice it why we need to do this uh, relaxation technique why we need to do the breathing exercise the reason is when you breathe properly you feel relaxed first your muscles get relaxed second when you start breathing properly your brain works well you will think and act when you are breathing and relaxing state your prefrontal lobe would function very well which areas are helping to take a decision properly and you are you may not be more emotional you will be a very relaxed state and you are thinking and acting so try to practice some relaxation technique here there is a link i think uh, they will share to you if you want and uh, you will try to adapt this and you can practice at home next slide speak with your loved ones through so irukku munadi irukra maari nama poi pesa mudiyadhu but you can call them even video video call you can make them and you can talk to them and you you are maintaining the distance as physically whereas you have to connect with emotion so you can contact with them and you can talk to them and you can ask them how they are how how the things are going even you can talk to your teachers even you can talk to your your, your relatives or you want to speak you can talk lockdown it's only for physical moment not uh, the mobile or not uh, not uh, the calling or any so you can call them and you can contact them so that you can feel relaxed and try to understand acknowledge and accept your negative emotions when you have some kind of uh, negative emotions like anxiety like a uh, kind of worrying aggressive tendencies all these things comes in straight away you can accept yes yes that is something is changing in myself so what i supposed to do so you have to acknowledge accept your negative emotions so that you can able to address your negative emotions otherwise there are number of cases comes in the consumption of alcohol it's increasing during this lockdown even when they opened up nearly 45 crores in a day whereas in they, they it kind of it's become a competition even in tamil nadu there there is a place where uh, they sell it nearly uh, 156 crores you can see so here when they when they are highly stressful and when they are not able to address their negative emotion there will be a negative consequences they used to consume alcohol they used to consume uh, like uh, tobaccos and they they used to watch tvs and they are spending more time in the gadgets is all the the way they they are trying to cope but it's a negative coping which, which won't help any anyway so you have to accept understand accept and acknowledge your negative emotion would help to address your negative emotions in a greater extent and learn to accept these feelings as a life experience that's very very important even this group even your your parents even your grandparents they may not experience this kind of situation you can take this as a 
life time experience even uh, who were born before 2004 they may experience they, they may hear about tsunami likewise th- there are number of uh, life events happening this this is the one of the life event so we have to think it's a life experience we have to accept and we have to adapt this situation and move forward and try to understand the difference between a real and imaginary power when we talk about this topic itself when we talk about lockdown and mental health challenges so mental health challenges usually arises from the our own imaginary powers so if you would ask someone who you are worrying about if i get infected by covid 19 so they they used to keep all the time if if i get if my family get affected if my friends get affected if my college is closed completely if my exams not over like if I, if i'm not getting a job if you see this always they used to keep if so this is a imaginary problem it's not a real problem so when it's a real problem comes in everyone has their own capacity to cope with it and they will address properly even if they have any issues that there are number of professionals are there to help them but imaginary problems we need to address we need to think properly and we have to ask the question towards what are the imaginary problems we have we have to act upon we have, we have to work out on reducing imaginary problems and the the last one is being mindful uh, which will, what is mindful mindfulness training you have to be present so try to be present you can, it's very difficult exercise when we talk about mindful for mindfulness training whenever we talk about mindfulness training when you ask when you close your eyes and automatically it goes somewhere it's very difficult to in the present so what you have to do you have to start practicing how i am right now am i stable am i secure am i being with my family members so you have to keep keep on we can try to be present which also will help to reduce your anxiety if at all if at all if you are not doing this what happen keeps your imagination goes it will leads your mental health so best thing try to be present and if any anything goes wrong any like there are number of uh, psychotic tendencies like uh, suddenly you might someone may hear some sound without nobody so without if they are looking around there is no one but still they are hearing some voice or they are having some delusional thoughts or like delusional means a strong illogical unshakable belief so for example someone is trying to kill me this kind of uh, thoughts comes in then definitely you have to check with the profession and uh, don't google with so many times what happen if any problems comes in we are trying to google so better you can call professionals and try to help try to get the help and i am giving uh, two um, very important numbers here so next slide please so before that you have to think one step at a time even if you feel worried first think one step at a time not don't focus on many things so one one step at a time which is very very easy to handle whereas if you would try to handle multiple tasks then it's very difficult the next slide please so all these things start from you if you are not believing yourself nobody can so start believe on yourself and you are very secure you are safe and uh, if you would see the uh, like a news um, news so we are crossing more than 60 percentage of uh, successive outcome from the treatment so in that case believe in yourself and start moving forward so world is yours and start with hope the next slide so here there are two numbers tamil nadu government mental health helpline 104 so any medical related 
inquiries, you can call this number and they will guide you. And uh, there is COVID-19 mental health helpline, toll-free number for throughout the world, throughout India. So we can contact uh, these two numbers. These two numbers we can save in your uh, mobile. So if any emergency due to uh, emergency or if you feel someone having some issues and they need to get help, don't hesitate to call them. They will definitely help you. In this. And thank you so much. The next slide. Thank you so much for our patience. And uh, it's a great evening. Thank you. So if thank you have any questions, yeah, you can. Thank you so much for your sharing insights on today's session. Okay, guys, if you guys have uh, any questions or uh, queries, you can click the icon, raise your hand so that I can unmute you. You can directly ask the question to the speaker. Hello? Yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, good evening, sir. This is Darshika from Ignau. Yeah, please. Um, shall I speak in Tamil, sir? Yes, sir, yes, of course. You can Tamil. Uh, sir, I have small doubts, sir. So, if you have told me that the situation is not most if on the lockdown period lande, most of the crimes domestic violence sexual assault sa the lockdown period lada most of the crimes ande nada kada abdin sorni galiya sa okay so sa ande ipo situations matu me na mande blame panu muri ma so ipo ande aung 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 ande woman mala or or equal thought illa dar nalda they started doing crimes. So, yes. if the situation is not blame in the situation. No, we don't blame the situation. During the lockdown, we don't blame the situation. The situation is not the same. So, when we talk about equality, so men and women are equal. That's why we don't blame the situation. So, that's why we don't blame the situation. A defensive, uh, a defensive point of view. All my situation na karan soli ramdiya. You are so right. You are right. Situation wande na ma karan mat. Adu me karan matte solam diya. Adu ur karan ma solla. So for situation wande mental health affect pan mal mental health sorry ar kar dinala situation sa we can handle and thamari. So rent vice versa ma vice versa. So mental health uh, vulnerability ar kena chumle. For example, or uh, or number wande or. Uh, mental health is very weak. I have to say that. If you trigger the mental health issue, it is prominent. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. That's why the lockdown situation is very abnormal. This is why I have to say that. But in the lockdown situation, the situation will reflect. So, that is vice versa. We have to say that we have to say that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 please. Uh, sir, this is me, Mohan Arun from DG Vishnu College, yes, a Department of Social Work. Uh, yes. My doubt is that uh, now uh, everybody are undergoing unemployment, layoff, and everything. And uh, in a situation like this, uh, there are also a few people uh, who are in the stage of middle class or even upper middle class. They are also struggling to find income. And yes. uh, there are business class people like my father who on a daily basis go out and find orders and supply and earn money. But now they are totally short of income and they are totally short of activity. Uh, so how to de-stress themselves from, from a perspective of a son or from a perspective of a child or a spouse? One thing is, uh, it's an uncertain situation. First thing we have to understand, try to understand that it's a uncertain and nobody's expected this uh, This will happen, right? So this uncertain situation create this issue and uh, uh, gradually we are back into the pavilion actually. Even though we are talking about COVID-19 uh, and the spreading all over and the relaxation it's started up and we have to understand there will be a, like there will be a, 
like um, uh, gradual changes so being as a son you have to understand that yes uh, which is very important life or um, income i would prefer into the uh, life isn't it so in that case in that case we have to accept, we have to accept this difficult situation yes this is very difficult situation economical perspective but when we compare with the life aspect so economic is secondary right so now i could understand being uh, as a son you are finding a very difficult uh, you are seeing your father it's a very difficult to facing all this situation but still we have to be happy that we are living with our parents and it once once the things are get settled and he is a businessman and definitely he will back to uh, the positive uh, growth so we have to accept that and we have to lead and we have to support them actually so we have to make them to feel like yes pa no no issues i am uh, here to support you like that you have to talk uh, very positively to him so that he feel that yes someone is there to support me even during the stressful situation okay sir thank you yeah thank you is there anyone to ask and we can will tamil la kekalam english la kekalam telugu la kekalam ena inge nariya per ninga translate pandradhukku irupanga so adanal ninga language vandu barrier ah vechukka vendam so if you have any questions you can ask me i think uh, no one have raised their hands sir okay okay fine let us proceed okay now i call mr jonathan ravindran district coordinator you are advocacy forum to give a vote of thanks hello ah. thank you abdul a very good evening to everyone on behalf of you are active advocacy forum i like to thank everyone who have attended this webinar today first of all i like to thank the head of the department dr sulu priya and the faculty of the Depart- department of social work tg bashan of college for their immense support in ho- hosting this webinar a special thanks to dr sulu priya for not only accepting our proposal to conduct this webinar but also for taking a personal interest in coordinating it I extend my gratitude to the speaker mr dana pandian for making time to coordinate this session for the benefit of the student community mental health and wellness is of a great relevance today and thank you so much sir for throwing light on how to cope and strengthen one's mental health and well-being also thank you so much sir for patiently answering all the, uh, the questions posted by the participants thank you so much sir i would like to thank our ceo and founder ms aishwarya kalpati for her constant encouragement and motivation and like to also extend my gratitude to my team yuva for all the support in organizing this webinar thank you so much guys i would like to personally thank student coordinators abdullah nabin and aishwarya for assisting us with all the necessary arrangements for this organization for this webinar and finally i like to thank each and every participant who out of sheer interest attended this we- this session not just to help themselves but to help help other people around them thank you so much for the participation thank you all once again uh, a very good uh, evening to you all please take care and stay safe thank you uh, once again sir Yeah. Very, uh, in the chat box is the person who's asking question to you yeah uh, this is a question for danapandian sir yeah yeah is speaking and giving some advice for the patients who are stressed during this lockdown a better treatment option could you repeat please ah uh, is speaking and giving some advice for the patients who are stressed during this lockdown a better treatment option whether the speaking right now would or mean better or not i am can you can you please again sir yeah is speaking and giving some advice for the patients who are stressed during this lockdown a better treatment option question mark whether it is better or not they are asking uh, yeah yeah so here um, the question is very clear that so 
பேசுறது மட்டுமே எதுவும் ஆன்சர் கொடுத்துருமா அப்படிங்கிறதுக்கு ஸோ இட்ஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் இஃப் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் வித் அ கவுன்சிலிங் செஷன் வி ஹாவ் டு சி த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் கவுன்சிலிங் விச் வுட் ஹெல்ப் தம் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டேண்ட் த understand what kind of situation they are so not only speaking it's it's about counseling counseling it's talking about try to uh, make the person to understand their own situation and cope up with their stress so if it is a talking it won't help if it's uh, going with a counseling aspect definitely it would help so am i answer na simple ah solluna ipo nare nerangalla pesu எப்படி இருக்கீங்க எங்க இருக்கீங்க இந்த மாதிரியான வழக்கமான விஷயங்களை மட்டும் பேசுறது நிச்சயமா வந்து பயனளிக்குமா அப்படின்னு பார்த்தா அதை நிச்சயமா நடக்காது பட் வேறஸ் இப்போ அவங்களுக்கான பிரச்சனை என்ன ஏன் அந்த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஃபுல் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஸ ஃபீல் பண்றாங்க ஸோ அந்த அதுக்கான அந்த ரீசன் அவுட் பண்ணிட்டாங்கன்னா பண்ணிட்டு அந்த பிரச்சனைக்கான ஸோ ஸோ வென் தே ஃபீல் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஃபுல் ஈவெண்ட் ட்ரிகர்ஸ் ட்ரிகரிங் பாயிண்ட் வச்சுட்டு தென் தே ஹாவ் டு ஒர்க் அவுட் and that way it would help but it's not all the case some cases uh, even after a counseling session they used to go back to the same situation so analla vandu nama ella nerangalaiyum idu option solla mudiyum that would help definitely help no provided it would uh, go with the counseling skill properly implemented thank you sir participants there is a feed for feedback link have in the chat box chat box you can click and fill that so that you will receive the e certificates and if you guys have any doubts there will be a youtube link will be posted in the chat box you can draft or you can comment your questions so that the, our speaker will answer later yeah there is a one uh, question from uh, yali sai uh people took a precaution measures like hand washing bath and all i have seen one client uh, get ocd so we have to consider this be aware of uh, precautions and symptoms of ocd yeah that's very very important during this particular particular during this time the reason is uh, if a uh, if a client having ocd tendencies so what is ocd obsessive compulsive disorder they used to have a tendency it's a disorder uh they used to have a tendency to wash or count in numerous time so uh, when comes to the uh, cleaning self to sanitizer or uh, soap or uh, taking bath and all ocd claims may accelerate more they may do more and more than the previous that's very important if they are finding any ocd tendencies and they are doing it more and more very often and uh, countless time then definitely they have to take care and they have to uh, bring to the uh, psychiatrist for the consultation so, so there is other that? question yeah they are asking can you suggest the ways of community participation so here uh, right now the situation right now situation is uh, the community need to follow the government norms and regulation that's it right now that is a uh, thing whereas in future in future once the things are uh, get ready then we have to uh, be ready uh, and we have to make the community to participate to prevent these kind of things so what are the preventive measures we have to create we can create an awareness we can ask them to participate and collaborate with the community the, that and all we can but right now we have we have a only one option we have to follow the government rules and regulation since it's a pandemic and it's spreading all over the world. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, yes. Yeah, once again, I'm Darshika, sir. Uh, a small doubt is that you said that there is a community participation. So, if a community participation, if it's uh, mental, mental health related, if you do a type of program, what type of program do you do? Uh, first on the mental health related uh, first uh, we can create an awareness that would be the ba- uh, basic thing since we are uh, seeing many uh, number of um, questions from the community they are talking about basic questions even covid irka lian kuda they are asking so whether it's a uh, um, uh, like coronavirus irka lia yen ipdi panitirukanga indra level la illam questions la irukku so 
first of all we have to create an awareness uh, about covid 19 and how we can prevent prevention aspect la dhan podi irundadha nalla irukum and even if you start working on if anybody having any issues mental health issues they can have a session like a dialogue session that we can initiate right sure. now this uh, situation in future the um, uh, scenario will change we have to wait and watch sure sir sure sir thank you sir even sir, uh, questions are over yes yes please okay sir thank you for your king this opportunity for us to learn from you given some insight to us thank you so much uh, hello uh, sorry to interrupt there is one more question in the chat box which says is there alternative uh, for electronic gadgets for stress buster because people become violent with the electronic even for few minutes so there are number of alternatives uh, even they can uh, go back to the manual kind of work or the play way method like nama thayam la solluvom le thayam riddles uh, even there are number of options actually the problem with the gadgets is its addictive uh, nature the reason is it gives on the spot immediate uh, and colorful uh, uh, feedback so that we are into the gadgets but whereas if you see the any games uh, manual games which won't be uh, colorful but constructive whereas in the gadgets are more colorful um, like attractive and uh, with the colors with a with a music and everything so that is a main reason why we are uh, in the, uh, like indulge with the gadgets so probably if they turn into the traditional games or even within a, a home they can have some uh, create their own games that would help and even they can uh, start reading books writing some articles or even uh, painting there are a lot of things they can do at home but uh, thing is they have to feel that even i can be happy with that that's very important so we cannot compel them no? hello i think it's uh, time to wake it thank you so much sir, for sharing your valuable inputs throughout this session and patiently answering to all the questions thank you thank you so much thank you sir participants please kindly fill the feedback link then only you will receive the e certificates thank you